Hi, this is Kiran. Today I am going to demonstrate some of the questions from computers. You can learn and improve your knowledge by watching these videos. This is collection 1. I am going to cover around 25 questions in this video. The first question is another word for daisy wheel printer is. You can see different printers over here. Petal printer, golf ball printer, lesser printer and line printer. But the option is petal printer. You can see the color changes. And here comes the image of petal printer. You can see all the figures are arranged towards the circumference of this which will be used for printing. Let's jump into the next question. The collection of utility programs, subroutines or application programs used on a particular computer is called dash. You can see the options over here. The best suitable one is the program library. This is it. You can see application program and other stuff won't suitable much to this question. But program library is a subroutine which helps for all the other utility programs. The time taken for the read write head to move to the correct track on the magnetic disk is called dash. Is it an epoch delay, latency delay, approach time or seek time? You can see C and D options are pretty much closed but the actual answer is seek time. We are going to see that one in pictorial way. Here comes the tracks, concentric circles over here. So the distance between this and this, the read head moving time, it is called the seek time. So in this case, the seek time is the time to move the head across the platter to the correct track. That's the reason this should be your answer. Next question. Which of the following printer can be classified as a page at a time printer? The options are shown over here, but the best option is laser printer. We can see the inner picture how this functions. You can see the paper tray is coming from this direction. It goes and all the way it comes out. So the page at a time printer should always be your laser printer. Let's jump into the fifth question. In serial asynchronous transmissions, the bit is used to signal the end of the character within the data frame. So he's asking what is that which shows the end of the data frame. The options below, you can remove this and this, it is far and parity is used for verification. So the only option which is coming close is the stop. So let's see in the pictorial way. Here comes the start of the data frame. The actual data is residing under D01 and towards DN. The parity bit is for verification and stop is the one which is asked in this question. So you can simply go and choose this to get correct answer. Going to the sixth question. The original ASCII code used bits of each type reserving that last bit for error checking. So what's the number of bits? From the options below you can choose option 7. This is correct. C. A total 8 bits but one is used for parity. You can see the ASCII alphabet. Each one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Similarly, you take any one of the word like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the total should be 7. It covers almost all the alphabets. The term MIPS refers to dash. I hope you got the answer. The correct answer is option A. Millions of instructions per second. You, you will be slightly confused with multiple instructions or megabytes. But this is the correct answer. Which of the following best describes the term data processing? You need to carefully read all the options, the collection of information or data, the distribution of information or data, the manipulation of information or data. So this is more suitable. Option C. Communication ports are found on the backside of a microcomputers. They are used to connect the computer to dash. Is it connecting to printers, modems or other hardware? The answer is correct. All A, B, C are correct. So the best suitable one you can choose is all of the above option D. You can also see pictorially the different type of ports that your computer is having. This is for USB, for the mouse and USB for external devices that you can access. These are audio jacks to the monitor and here is missing some of the HDMI ports and other stuff. But indeed for this information the printers, modems and other hardware all of these is the answer. The progressing of two or more programs in parallel is dash it's happening at the same time program 1 program 2 so he's asking what is that core the answer should be 
concurrency. You cannot be concatenation because concatenation means adding of two things together and data module and colossus are also not part of this question. What is the portion of memory that serves as a temporary repository for data as it waits for a given action? This also helps in improving the speedness. So by seeing the options you can clearly choose only one. The option B it's the cache. This is the one which helps to speed up your process. You can read more stuff about cache memory. It looks like this the black piece over here. The cache is a smaller faster memory which stores copies of the data from frequently used main memory locations. I hope you got the actual picture of cache now. Properly arranged data is called dash. Is it a word, field or information? The actual answer is option C. Information. It can't be words or field. Field comes in picture in Excel. And word cannot be a properly arranged. It is only a single word. A file is somewhat reasonable but information is the exact and the pinpoint answer for this question. What process prepares the magnetic surface of a disk by creating concentric circles called tracks around the disk? The process he is asking right now, you know the concentric circles are called tracks but what makes the unstructured data to a tracks? So the process is called dash. Is it a tracking, formatting, copying or sectioning? So the answer should be option B formatting. I hope you have done multiple times the format for the disks. How it appears is the concentric circles. You can see the track one, track two, track three and so on. Thus you can resubmit the data. You can store again in multiple tracks. So he is mainly concentrating on the process over here. So we need to choose the formatting. What are the three decision making operations performed by the ALU of a computer? ALU stands for arithmetic logical unit. So what does it do? Whether it does greater than, less than or equal to or all of these. See it does more than this. So the option should be D. It can be greater than, less than or equal to. As mentioned over here, arithmetic logical unit in short ALU. It's part of a CPU performs arithmetic and logical operations arithmetic here and logical here so he actually asked only these things in this question but ALU can also do addition subtraction multiplication and division so it's a bigger unit and a lot of operations it does which of the following is a list processing high level language by seeing the list you can clearly spot on it should be list at least for list and it also uses for artificial intelligence. The option should be B. The use of a computer to get information from a data bank is known as dash. Is it an information withdrawal, computer simulation, information retrieval, fall tent searching? This cannot be the answer. A withdrawal and towards bank it's just for the confusion. Computer simulation actually we are just asking about information gathering so this cannot be the answer and information retrieval is the correct answer. Which part of a computer is used for calculating and comparing? We already discussed this part in earlier questions. It should be option C, ALU, arithmetical logical unit. We already know what it does but in a different pictorial way you can remember now. It has a memory on top, control unit, arithmetic logical unit, the accumulator. It takes inputs as well as it provides output to the computer. So it's called the brain which does all the operations. Which of the following is a storage medium to copy stored data into another? So what kind of information that you say? Is it a drum? I never heard of. So this cannot be a dump, critical path or cyber metrics. So these are far away. So the actual answer should be dump. If you are a database guy, you might be already worked in a dump files like exporting a data table into a dump file. So this is proper way to answer this question. Which type of computer uses the 8-bit code called EBCDIC? The full form of EBCDIC is Extended Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code. It can be pronounced as EBCDIC. Now coming to the question, it is used in which type of computers? Is it for mainframe? mini computers, micro or supercomputers. So the answer should be A. Mainframe computers. You can see the image how it shows. This is 
to the latest generation mainframes but mainframes do exist from earlier versions the checking operation performed on input data is called dash validation verification cross check or control of a data so in this case it should be validation of a data option a can you tell what passes into and out from the computer via its ports so whether it is a data bytes graphics pictures so you cannot be a graphics or pictures directly though these things you can see passing through one computer to another computer but indeed all this information is not directly sent as images but in terms of one zero zeros it's all bytes so a data can also be in one zero zero ones so your answer should be bytes it is the best answer and remaining things are just there to confuse you guys so all these things are wrongs the computer memory holds data and dash it's the program you might be again confused with bytes register and bits registers will be somewhat related to semiconductor devices and bits and bytes of course those are answers too but indeed which is granular and which is pinpointing to this question is the program because in a main memory you can see it's all divided in sub pages couple of pages together holds a program example is your word processing photoshop plotters and print so it prints using what whether it's through ball pen point pens with ink pens electrostatically so the moment you see all of these you need to be very cautious you need not stick to a single option over here so a b c all three are correct so the option you need to choose in this scenario is all of these you can see the image over here how the plotters could be it are the very big printers which will print big sceneries maps and other important stuff which cannot be printed on on the home desks printers the larger the ram of a computer the faster its processing speed is since it eliminates dash need for external memory need of rom frequent disk ios need for wider data path so the option which is pretty close and exact is a frequent disk ios so the larger the ram you can reduce it's inversely proportional to the frequent disk ios the last question of this video most of the errors blamed on computers are actually due to dash is it due to the programming errors hardware fatigue defects and floppy disks it's too old you can easily remove that and data entry errors so the best option should be the option d data entry errors the programming errors could also be the case hard work but majority of the case most of the companies blame upon their errors are data entry errors and again all these things are caused by a human so human errors indeed cause data entry errors you can see in a pictorial way that you are going to get that through your keyboards thanks for watching this video this is kiran your host stay tuned for more and more videos if you subscribe to this channel you'll be getting a better videos this is kiran signing off take care bye bye